Moldy marijuana coated with pesticides. Arizona lawmakers say that's what was found for sale at Valley dispensaries. And now a state senator is taking action, proposing new laws requiring more government oversight. ABC 15 Sonu Wasu takes us inside a Valley dispensary to explain how exactly this could be a game changer. We are inside a North Phoenix medical marijuana dispensary where the cultivation manager tells me from the minute they start growing these plants, Humidity is not only one of their biggest concerns, but it can also be their biggest enemy. Even a little bit of moisture can lead to mold. Here at the Giving Tree Wellness Center, the post harvest manager tells me that can be a big loss for any dispensary. Have you ever had to destroy moldy marijuana? Yes, we have, and it's been painful for us, but we do it because it's the right thing to do. In an industry where medical marijuana dispensaries police themselves, Arizona State Senator Sonny Borelli tells me not everyone has been doing the right thing. Right now, nobody's checking. It's the Wild West. Senator Borelli is proposing laws that would bring inspectors from the State Departments of Health and Agriculture into these dispensaries to test the quality of this medicine. They're already sick, so we want to make sure that they're not getting sicker on something that they think is going to help them out. In a state that's been highly divided on the use of marijuana for recreational use, when it comes to safety and quality, lawmakers tell me this is one thing both sides support. As an industry, it would be arrogant for us to say that testing shouldn't be a requirement here in Arizona when 27 out of 29 states have testing. The bill would set aside $2 million from the state medical marijuana fund for these inspections. This bill will be heard in the government committee this Wednesday at 2. We'll keep you posted on its progress. Sonu Basu, ABC 15, Arizona. Sonu, thank you.